contaminated area. I'm Clint Flewu and welcome to another Division Build video and today we're going to talk about my, my favourite build over the past few months and um, what is it? Oh, you know it is Deadeye yeah it's an immense amount of fun rolling with this build it's so annoying on other players they get really frustrated they get annoyed they send you messages I love it I absolutely do this is my I can take rogues down in a group it, this is awesome it is amazing enough me talking over and over again jibber jabbering so let's talk about my dead eye build okay i'm running a dead eye five piece with a barrett's bulletproof chest piece what does dead eye do well i'm going to tell you set bonus two is 40 percent initial bullet stability set bonus three is 20 percent marksman rifle critical hit damage set bonus four when zoomed marksman rifles lose headshot bonus but gain 50% critical strike chance when out of cover and 100% critical strike chance when in cover. Set bonus 5, 40% uh, initial bullet stability, so it's 80% in total, and an extra 20% marksman rifle critical hit damage. Okay, so we're going to start with the chest piece and its Barrett's. Um, what, what does Barrett's do? No skills and cooldown, increases skill power by 10%. One skill and cooldown, increases damage by 5%. Two skills and cooldown increases armor by 10%. And it is rolled into firearms with skill haste, health, ammo capacity, and two firearms skill haste mods. 
onto the mask and it's dead eye with firearms enemy armor damage damage to elites and the modern rolling with is firearm skill haste onto the knee pads it is firearms critical hit damage with blind death resistance bleed resistance damage to elites and the two mods I'm rolling with are firearm skill haste and 2% pulse critical hit damage mod now onto the holster and it's skill haste with pulse critical hit damage and onto the gloves and it's rolled into firearms with marks from rifle damage critical hit damage and skill haste and the backpack is firearms with critical hit damage ammo capacity and the mods I'm rolling with firearm skill haste and two pulse critical hit damage mods so you guys have probably seen there's a lot of skill haste there so how much skill haste in total let's take a look in a second my primary weapon, weapon of choice, is the M700 Carbon. For me, it is the best sniper to go for, for just that amount of insane damage. It's fully optimised, and with talents such as Deadly, Prepared, Competent, they marry very, very well together. Attachments are primarily critical hit damage, and a little bit of accuracy to boot. Onto my secondary, it's the house with deadly responsive card counter and the mods, uh, sorry, the attachments, critical chance and critical damage. Now if we just look at the character sheet, my critical damage is 175%. I could get a percent more, I'm missing that on one of my attachments, but I'll take that, I'll take 175%. My damage leaks is 28%, my enemy armor damage is 8%. But the bread and butter of the build is 40% skill haste. Insane. Do you need it on a dead eye build when it's all about damage? And my answer is yes, you do. It makes the world of difference. And I'm going to show you very shortly why and how. Now, onto the abilities, I'm rolling a pulse. And the pulse is the basic critical chance is 8%. I don't need it, I'm running dead eyes, so it's not about critical chance, it's about the secondary, which is the critical hit damage of 16%. I've got four two percent critical hit damage mods that boost it to 16, which again is that extra eight percent damage. So that's really, really good. That's what I've done it for, that's what, what I need, so I'm happy with that. Booster shot. And again, for that extra damage, a little bit of health, but again for me, it's all about that damage. Now, we go over the talents and I go back to the skills. Now, talent wise, I'm using Adrenaline, I'm using Critical Save, I'm using Tactical Advance, and Steady Hands. Now, for the skills, and if we just look at the pulse, and what I will tell you now Competent, which is the third talent on my N700 Carbon, can be active 100% of the time. Easy as that, simple. Given I'm only running 95k skill power, 3k electronics, how on earth can I keep that up? Competent, which is 10% damage for 15 seconds all the time. Simple as this. Now my pulse has a 30 second cooldown, so pop a pulse. Yeah. That will not only activate competent, that will also activate Barrett's, yeah, which is 5% extra damage which is the one skill and cooldown, so that's 15% damage yeah, for 15 seconds. Then I will pop my booster shot at 15 seconds. And at the end of that 15 seconds, I will have my pulse back ready again, competent, still there, still active. So competent is up 100% of the time. As soon as one skill's down, one's back again. That's it's that's how I roll, that's how I work. So I've constantly got that booster shot, that pulse with a 16% critical damage popped. That's what 40% skill haste does for you. Does an immense mm -hmm. and on a sniper build, it, it's it's a it's a sleeper hit. This really, really is. This is the way I would build it for 1.8.3. This is how you're gonna get, in my opinion, the most damage. And what are you you're sacrificing? For that extra skill haste, then I'll tell you you're sacrificing potential EDR or enemy armor damage on your chest piece. Yeah, you're you're scrapping enemy armor damage 
on your gloves so you, you're losing a bit of health on your holster yeah and maybe a little bit of health for the mods on your on your gear seriously this is better this pays dividends you have the extra 10 percent in fact 15 percent damage constantly up why wouldn't you run it you'd be silly not to in all fairness this is the best did I build 1.8.3 constant constant skills uh, and, and talents which are constantly active this is the best way to build did I in 1.8.3 again it's simple as that you've seen the gameplay you see what it does it does it hard you can get a little bit harder don't get me wrong if you use a reckless chest piece you, yeah you get a little bit more damage yeah I agree I said but you'll be like be like a feather in the wind. It's as simple as that. This gives you a little bit of survivability as well. Rolling the house with deadly and responsive. Try this. Drop drop a comment in the box and let me know what you feel. You and trust me, this is fantastic. It is top top tier. Dead eye, five piece Barretts with forty percent skill haste. Um, this is a build it. Cool. Hope you've enjoyed the video. If you have, drop a like. That'd be awesome. And if you enjoy my content and you want to see more division build videos, then please smash that subscribe button and you'll see me in the DZ.